Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to show you how I make my pizza dough cinnamon sticks. The other night I made some homemade pizza and some of the cinnamon sticks. And I try to copy it like a pizza place where sometimes we order them from. They were very good and I posted them on my Facebook and there were some people that said they would love to see how I make it. So first we got to start off with the pizza dough. And we're going to need around two to two and a half cups of bread flour, or you can use all-purpose flour. But right now I'm going to start off with one cup of bread flour. To that I'm going to add my instant yeast. I'm going to add one teaspoon. I am also adding two teaspoons of sugar and a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now we're going to mix that up. And you can also do this by hand. Just mix the whole thing by hand. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of warm water. Remember, you don't want it too hot, but you don't want it too cold. Like I can stick my pinky finger in it. And I'm just going to give that a quick mix. Now when my bread hook, I'm going to start this on low and go ahead and add another cup of bread flour. Now I'm going to let all of that get incorporated and then let it mix for a bit and then we'll see if we need to add some more. I need to add two tablespoons of oil, and you can use what oil that you like. I'm using olive oil. That's why I had it sitting right here beside the mixer so I wouldn't forget. Okay, everything's mixed and it's still real sticky. So I'm going to add the half cup and let that mix. Everything's mixed in. The dough feels good. It's tacky, but it's not dry and it's not too sticky. So I'm going to let the machine knead it for a few minutes. Alright, I let that knead in the machine for four minutes. I'm going to take it out. And with my very clean hands, and you shouldn't need no more flour, it feels real good. I'm going to bring it together. You want it to be just a little bit tacky. Sorry, I didn't know you couldn't see. Having to do this on my counter, I usually do this at my table where I have plenty of room, but the light bulb blew in it. So, okay, this feels good. It bounces back. Now, in my old bowl, Put it in, swirl it around, turn it over, swirl it around. Make sure it's all covered in that oil. And now, if you're going to leave it out on your counter, you'll need to cover it. But I'm going to put mine in my oven with just the oven light on. I'm not going to turn on the oven. Just the oven light. And we're going to let this rise for an hour or until it's doubled in size. All right, I just took my dough out, and it's risen beautifully. And I'm going to use half of the dough for pizza, and the other half for the cinnamon breadsticks. You could use all the dough to make two pizzas, or all the dough to make your breadsticks. And I have a pan lined with some parchment paper. I'm just going to deflate it. Yeah, just take 
half of it. I'm going to work it just a little bit just to redistribute the air, get it all smooth on the top. And shape it in a rectangle as best as I can. Now I'm going to take my pizza cutters and cut strips size that I want my little breadsticks. I'm not going to separate it. I'm just going to leave it there. Pin them back together as best I can. Now I just melted a little bit of butter. We got about a tablespoon and we're going to brush it real good with butter, melted butter. Coat them really good. And then I took a couple of tablespoons of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, mixed it together, and we're just going to sprinkle it all over the top. Now, if you didn't want sweet cinnamon breadsticks, you could take this, brush it with butter, and put some uh, Parmesan cheese and garlic. And then bake them up and have you some uh, Parmesan and garlic breadsticks and dip them in a good sauce that you like. Now I'm going to let these just hang out right here on the oven while my oven preheats. I want these to set out for about 15 minutes before I bake them. So I'll just move them aside. I've got my oven preheating to 425 degrees, but now I'm going to make my pizza crust real quick. I just want to show you how beautiful this crust is. It's awesome to work with. And we like thin pizza crust, or I do. And my cousin's coming over. She wants to learn how to extreme, cu extreme coupon like I do. So we're going to have pizza. And I'm making the same type of pizza that I used to make when I, I babysat them. That's what I did for years. And I've told y'all the stories. So it's going to be like old times. And we always liked a lot of the, the crust right here on the end. All right, they've been sitting for about 15 minutes. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees. So now we're going to bake them till they're lightly browned on the bottom. And I'll let you know how long that took because I usually don't time anything. So I'll time it for you today. All right, I just took my cinnamon sticks out of the oven. They were in there around 16 minutes. But it may take a little bit shorter, a little bit longer in your oven. And I have to just check by lifting up the bottom to see. Because you won't be able to really tell by the top. So, my cousin just got here. I'm going to let this cool. And then when my pizza gets done, we'll try some for you. Okay, Lisa's here. Y'all know her. Don't but uh, Don't look at my hair. <laughs> that's, that's don't have makeup on. Don't look at my hair. Ain't gonna, <laughs> well, they know I don't know where I make up <laughs> But this is the pizza that I used to make them all the time when they were little. Same way, cheese pizza. Smell. And our cinnamon sticks and the dipping sauce is just like that you get at the pizza house. Ain't nothing but sweet, sweet, sweet sugar. It's just battered sugar with some milk and a little, I put vanilla in mine. So I know it's going to be funny to taste something sweet before we taste our pizza, but this is what the video is about, and I like the end pieces. Oh, that's good. Good, ain't mm -hmm. okay. Oh, wow. That's real good. Mind you, the pizza place. Mm-hmm. That's real good. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. A, a quick, too much, y'all. A quick story when they were little, and I kept them all the time.
I would, uh, we'd go buy a candy bar. And me and Lisa would hide in the closet so we didn't have to share with Tab or Darren. <laughs> That's probably why she hides in her zero bars like she does when I... <laughs> They'd be just knocking on the door and we'd be like, we'll be out in a minute. <laughs> mm. All right, we're going to enjoy our lunch. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you make them. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. Comment. I love hearing from you. And subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all.